Here at Cycling Weekly, we get to test the latest tech, from the most up-to-date innovation to something as simple as a set of tie levers. So each month, we will bring you our four favourites that we think you should know about. So to kick us off this month, we have Chris. What, do you, what have you got for us, Chris? My pick for this month is the Cella Italia SLR Technoflow saddle. It's expensive, but I think it's great. How much is it? Just by £300. Doesn't look very comfortable, though. Well, actually, it's really good. The large cutout is the real selling point for it, really. So I've used lots of saddles like the ISM Adamo saddle, and I found the cutout for that was good, but it's a bit too far forward for me. And, and also, it's incredibly light. On the website where you'll see this, they say it's 110 grams. On our scales, it's only 102. In short, I think expensive, but great. There's only one other negative, really, I found with it, and that was the edges of the carbon could be a bit smoother. Cool, thanks. Paul. I've got Speedplay's new scissor pedal, which is a mountain bike type pedal, so good for cyclocross. It's been a long time in development, and they finally brought it to market. And the key thing is that the connection between the pedal and the cleat is metal to metal. What's the advantage of that? The key advantage is that Speedplay says there's a much more rigid interface right. than there is with other mountain bike type cleats, where the interface is between the pedal and the, uh, and the bottom of the shoe. There's lots so of little metal bits sticking out, yes. which I can imagine that if you're in the middle of a muddy cyclocross race, it might be sort of lots of mud getting chucked in there and it might not clear and it might be quite hard to get your yeah, foot back that's in. That's really the key thing which we need to have a look at, how well they clear mud. I'm also quite concerned, Paul, that you've, you've stuck the cleat in there. Can you get that out? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> with a spanner. <laughs> Henry, you have a Garmin for us. Uh, I do, and uh, this is the new Garmin Edge 20, which is the world's smallest and lightest GPS. And it's really, if you're one of those riders who formerly went on Strava, used their iPhone, just drain the battery, then this is probably the product for you. Uh, it's £109, it's just really basic, speed, distance, time, plug it into your computer when you get home, stick on Strava, fantastic. Uh, so there's no, there's no setup, there's no worry about? <laughs> really, no, like... I know when we talk about Garmin's, most of us use Garmin's in the past, so we might think the setup's easy, but in reality, it's probably not if you're coming to it new, but this... You just plumb yeah. in your details, is, is, yeah. that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, just uh, your age, gender, things like that, and press go. Yeah. Easy as that. One thing I did notice um, when this was on your bike, you had it on a separate mount. Does it not fit on the standard Garmin mount? No, 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 it's the, um, the system on the back is exactly the same quarter mount as uh, all other Garmin products, so it's really easy, and mounts are included in the box, so... Fantastic. And finally, Oliver, what have you got for us today? You know how people always joke that newsreaders are naked from the waist down? Yes. <laughs> well, these are Endura's Pro SL shorts. Uh, I'll sit down now. Thank you. As, as, worn, <laughs> as worn by yeah, the Movistar team as well and you know, Nairo Quintana. Um, and then they're Endura's top level short and quite simply they're brilliant. The key features of them is that you can actually get these shorts in three different chamois sizes depending on the width of your sit bones and in certain shops they actually have um, a pressure pad mapping system so that you can measure your sit bones on this and determine which pad is best for you. There's one final thing with these shorts. Yeah they're also available in two different leg lengths so if you uh, have weird super long legs or you just want the Bradley Wiggins look. Um, Dodgy tan lines. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can get the uh, longer leg length, which is, which is a nice feature as well, another bit of customization, which is cool. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Tune in next month to check out the latest and greatest tech to land on our desk. Thank you.